Hey everyone, it's Amber Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing another thread up shoe box. It's a 15 pair shoe box. You guys, my shoe boxes lately have been super fabulous. I'm really excited about this box. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Also follow me at Divana Dime for TikTok and Instagram. This box, you guys, came from Pennsylvania. My Pennsylvania shoe boxes have been super fabulous lately, so I'm really, really excited. I did get $10 off this box. I had a credit I got to use with my points. So total with tax and shipping, I paid $86.51 for 15 pairs of shoes. I will put on the screen right here what that equals to per pair. My last box was so fabulous, so I really have high hopes for this box. But we will see. Let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside. All right, you guys. There's the little packing slip. Woo. Ooh, I'm loving what I see from the top already. Little sneaky peeky. All right, so I'm gonna start with these just cause I see Adidas. They're really cool and they're in fabulous shape. So nice Adidas slides. I wouldn't know, I mean, I don't really know what style these are. They kind of remind me of Birkenstocks, uh, but it's a nice suede material. They are a size five, so a smaller size. Smaller sizes sometimes sell quickly, sometimes take a while to sell, but I don't care because these are in really good shape. They're Adidas. I have high hopes maybe these will sell quickly because since they are a smaller size, they, it could also go for kids. But they're in really, really good shape and unique Adidas shoes. Let's go ahead and just get to these boots, you guys, because they're right on top. Y'all, the bottom says Goodyear. Okay, so it's eight and a half M is the size, but I'm not sure about the brand. I'm going to have to use Google Images to see this. I'll show you the bottom where I'm seeing Goodyear. So you guys see the various Goodyear print on the bottom, uh, which obviously I know that's tires, but there's no brand on the inside of these shoes. It just says made in the USA, eight and a half M, but there is a six digit style code. So hopefully with the style code and Google Images, I'll be able to figure out the brand. If not, I can still sell them unbranded because I at least have the size, which is a plus, but they're not in bad shape some scuffs and wear along the heels, which is typically where the wear shows, but the bottoms are super clean, you guys, so that's nice. And they're a fun, neutral color boot. So we'll see about these. All right, next pair right off the top, we have, let's see, this is what they look like. I'm not recognizing it to start. Oh, Mark Fisher. Well, this is fun, no size for these. So, unless it's on the inside and it's worn off, but I will do a little bit of digging off camera. But it's a fun, gray suede material. And then black, black laces. This is what they look like. The bottom has some wear, but I will just have to do a little bit of digging to find where the size would be in these shoes. All right, next we have pink. Love the pink, it's a pretty pink color. See right there, they're Adidas again. Awesome. These are a size six and a half, pretty pink. Like this is, this is almost the color of my wedding dress. I had a pink wedding dress. A pretty pink color, I'm obsessed. They're also really, really lightweight. The bottoms are super clean as well. The whole shoe is very clean. So that's fabulous. I mean, they you can tell they've been worn, but the shoes itself, they're in very, very good shape. All right, I'm going with the Vans because they were next and I could see the brand. Some pretty blue van shoes. They are a size five men or six and a half women. Two-tone blue van shoes, low rise. Vans do well, so I am happy about these. The gum bottom is also not too bad. You guys, I've been using Dawn Power Wash to clean the shoes. It is so easy, minimal effort, and it comes right off. I'm loving it better than any shoe cleaner I've purchased. Dawn Power Wash, who knew? All right, next we have Universal Thread. So Universal Thread is a Target brand. 
but the shoes still sell. So I'm excited about that. They're a nice black sandal. Let's see if the size is posted anywhere. Again, no size. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I'm not seeing a size anywhere, but maybe I can measure them and go that way. They are lightly worn, the bottoms aren't too bad, and they're in really good shape still. So if I can find the size, these will be good to go. Ooh! Next we have, is it Allegria Allergy? Y'all, allergies, it's pollen season. Um, these are really, really nice. I know I'm wanting to say a lot of nurses wear these. Um, Y'all about dropped it. I think a lot of nurses wear these shoes, or they used to anyways, if they don't anymore. They are a size 39. The rest of it's worn off, but it just says 39. A very nice black color, not too much wear. So that's fabulous. It, they are slip resistant, but these do very well. So it's a pricey shoe and they, I think, the last time I sold any, they, they resold for a good amount. Let's hope the same is with this pair. Next, I see on the tongue there, these are Nike. These are probably the most worn pair out of the box. Okay. It is, I thought these were dirty, but I think that's the color of what they are. So it's kind of like a pretty sage green color. It's, it's like two-toned green but a breathable fabric, which is a plus. They are a size seven and a half. The bottoms are dirty, but they should come clean very well. But these shoes are light. These would be fabulous for running. They're the Nike Freestyle. So that's awesome. We will see how these do. The next we have some espadrilles. Oh, Michael Kors, fabulous. They're a size nine and a half blue Michael Michael Kors shoes. The bottoms aren't too bad. And then the fabric, there is not much wear really at all. And then the little MK logo on the back there. But these shoes are in really, really good shape. I also used the Dawn Power Wash. I had some Kate Spade canvas because this is a canvas material and it got the stain out. So Dawn Power Wash, you guys, is the way to go. Okay, next I'm going to go to these just because I'm seeing Cole Haan stare at me. So these are a very pretty wedge sandal. It's a blue color Cole Haan, and they are a size 8B. That's what they look like. There's the bottoms. Not too bad, really. And then you can see the little logo there on the strap. And the wedge isn't too high and they feel soft. So I'm assuming these are probably really comfortable sandals. So that is awesome. And Sam Edelman. All right, I love the neutral color and it's a heeled open toe sandal. I'm loving, so it wraps around the ankle and then has a little strap closure there. I'm loving these shoes. That is so cool. The little logo is on the heel there. They are a size 10, some wear on the bottom, but no wear on the heels, which is major because usually, you guys, the heels are just gone. But these are amazing square toe. I think these will go fast. They're in fabulous shape. I like these. And we have four, yes, four pairs left. I'm gonna go with these just because they're in my hand. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all hit my finger. And they are Naturalizer. So I have gotten this brand before. It hasn't sold yet, I don't think. These are a size six and a half. Very lightweight, patent leather, black loafers. The bottoms, super clean. You guys, I'm telling you. Oh, and y'all, the cushioning in this is so nice. It's very nice padded, but... um. These are really, really lightweight. So these will be nice, versatile loafers. And they I, I would assume they'd be great for walking, but they're amazing. I'm super excited to get these listed. The next ones, we have some black sandals and they are Cole Haan. 
So that's what they look like, black Cole Haan. See if the size is on the strap. Eight and a half B is the size. Oh, Cole Haan's on the logo there. So open-toed sandals, and it does have a Velcro closure right there. Little bit of wear on the bottom of this shoe. Not so bad on this one. You guys can see the wear in the middle there. But on top, the shoes are very clean, which is a plus. So these are awesome sandals. Let's get to these colorful, you guys. Let's see what these are. Okay, so these are J. Crew. I wasn't expecting that. I was going to say before I knew the brand, I used to dread getting shoes like this, like colors or prints, stuff like that in my boxes, but they sell quickly, so I don't mind. It does have a fun gold fringe tassel on there, but J. Crew shoes do well. So they're size eight and a half, pointed toe flap, and it's just a multi-color fabric print all over the shoes. Bottoms aren't too bad either. So that's fun, J. Crew flats. All right, the last pair, pair of heels. You can't have a shoe box without a pair of heels. So these are DKNY. It's a nice satin black heel. I really like it. Square toe, and it's in really, really good shape. Let's see the size is a size six and a half. And again, so satin square toe heel has a little bow on the toe area. Bottoms are not bad at all. And even around the heel, like there's no wear to the fabric, which is a plus. But that was the last pair in this 15 pair shoe box. I love it. There's a couple of them that didn't have, like that one didn't have the brand and then some of them didn't have the size. Hopefully I can use Google Images, search it, figure it out that way. But we will see. You guys will have to let me know what you thought about this box. If you liked it, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you've purchased a shoe box recently, let me know how yours was down below. Mine, again, have been fabulous. So I can't wait to see how some of these sell. Again, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my unboxing videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next Sunday.